<coughs> Hello, my legends. I uh, I'm back from my England trip. I got back a couple of days ago, and uh, happy New Year, everyone. I uh, <coughs> I hope you all had a good New Year's. We're now in 2016 for New Year's. The last couple of years, uh, for maybe four four or five years now, four years maybe. I have uh, I've gone out to my summer house with my brother and his wife and a bunch of our friends and we've just gotten we've always had like a seven course meal and like really dressed up and had a really fancy uh, New Year's uh, celebration and got it completely like that my first blackout and my only time where I can say that I've had a blackout from getting drunk was uh, was from one of the New Year's trips. So we always have this huge partying uh, thing going on with a lot of music and dancing and and just, you know, a typical thing. Whew, sorry. But this year, I guess I'm getting old. We, um, we went to my brother's apartment, just the two of us and uh, my brother and his wife and their two daughters. And we had a very chill New Year's um, evening. We... Uh, my brother and I made dinner, a three-course dinner, just the start starters, uh, main and a dessert, and you know, like Alex took a nap at like nine <laughs> for half an hour while we were cooking, and it was just a very chill, uh, chill evening. And I think that's what I that's what I really needed. Um, we had some alcohol there, obviously, but I, I had a headache the whole day, so I wasn't drinking much, you know. And it was just it was just nice for a change to just not get completely wasted and instead just have a nice a nice time and. You know, we played, we were going to play some board games, but I think we got too tired. We started playing Yahtzee, but then uh, it hit midnight, and after that we all were kind of just for an hour maybe walking around and talking and stuff, and then we left. Um, so that was my New Year's uh, celebration or, you know, evening, and that, that was all right. Let me know what you guys did for your New Year's. Um, I'm assuming a lot of you did get completely wasted, uh, which is cool too. Um, <clears throat> as for my England trip, it was fun. We were gone for two two weeks, uh, in good old good old Sheffield, Alex's hometown. Uh, we had a lot a lot of things. Like we got there, this was uh, gonna be my you know vacation, uh, my break from editing. Ooh, sorry, my back my back hurts. Um, and we got there, and we went through the plans of what we had to do, and we realized we had maybe two days where we weren't doing anything where. But uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. I uh, I went I went to see my first rugby game, a live rugby game. In um, we went to somewhere. I can't remember where we went. Alex, what? Leicester. Leicester. We went to Leicester. Are you listening? I I don't like that you're listening. Uh, sure. We went to Leicester. I feel really weird knowing that she's listening, even though I'm talking to you guys with all this. But it's like, sometimes I mess up. Like, I, like, forget my words, and I have to start over with a sentence. And then it gets kind of weird, and I don't want her hearing that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we went to Leicester to watch rugby. It was really, really cool, because the rugby game was starting at, like, I want to say six. Um, but we got there at, like, one, and went to the pub. And then we went and had some curry. I, like choke I like swallow like I you know when it's something's really hot and you breathe in I breathed in and a curry piece fell in my uh, not a curry piece um a chili piece fell in my uh, the wrong hole basically <laughs> so I started crying for a good 10 minutes of choking um and then we had more beers and we watched rugby and then we had another curry which is something that apparently uh, Alex's dad likes doing two curries in a rugby game and that was uh, that was my kind of day a uh, really fun day and when I compare Christmas in England and Sweden, I had a lot of people because I met a lot of new people. So that was a lot of, of the small talk because since since this was my first Christmas in England, a lot of people uh, like to ask what I thought of it and stuff. And a big difference is there's a lot more alcohol, uh, at least for uh, for Alex's family, a lot more alcohol in their Christmas compared to my, my Swedish Christmas. Um, like, I mean, on Christmas Eve... 
the day before they celebrate it, Christmas on Christmas Day. So on Christmas Eve, we got up at nine, and apparently there's this tradition. They have this tradition where um, some cousins and close family we met up in this pub, um, uh, restaurant pub basically, and we all had breakfast at ten a.m. with alcohol. Like they had champagne, I had some beers. And then we just kept going. We we went to a pub next, and we just I was out at a pub until like seven eight p.m. And this is the day before we're gonna celebrate Christmas. That's this would never happen in in Sweden, which is, um, which is like one of the big differences. I think that that's what really stood out to me. As for presents, got a lot of great presents. I got a I got a onesie which I'm wearing right now from Alex. And I got I thought that was Alex, but it's my cat. Um, and I got uh, I don't know. I got a flask. Uh, not a flask. What's it? Alex, what's it called? Not a flask. A what? Oh, it is called a flask. I got a flask. It was a really fun Christmas. We got Alex's dad. It's his birthday on the same day as it's Christmas. So it's kind of a big day. Uh, so uh, we got him a lot of uh, Swedish food. Because <laughs> he likes he likes Sweden a lot. So we got him a lot of different Swedish foods. Like, uh, you know, Swedish meatballs. And uh, this caviar we use in the morning for on our bread. And a lot of Swedish foods, which was great. Uh, he really liked that. So that's um, that's uh, that was our England trip. I uh, I really liked it. Uh, there was uh, it was nice to get away for a while. There were a lot of parties. We had a big party the day before we left as well at uh, Alex's parents' house. One thing I do notice every time I'm in, I'm in England when it comes to England basically is your roads. Here I have <laughs> here I have a road in Sheffield. I've got a man walking there. Um, the way you guys park your cars is just so like, it's so messy. Look at this. Like, you park them either way you want. You don't even look at this guy over here. Yeah. Oh my God. And then it's a different day. Now we're raining. Um, well, this is a great example as well. Like you park against each other. You park either way you're feeling like it. Like wh whatever way you want to go. And you park. You park it like it's not even straight. L let's go back at the, at the perspective I was. Look at this. Look at this right here. Like this guy, this guy's just standing really far out. He's standing like we do in Sweden. You do it along the curve. And then this guy over here, <coughs> this guy, this guy over here, Memvaf, yeah, here. He's just like completely on the curve. And you guys do this everywhere. And I don't get it. Like, what? Well, how don't you have a nicer. Okay, this guy's, this guy's obviously, maybe he's not going to stay there because the back's open. But how don't you. It's just it looks so messy to me every time I'm in England. And I don't mean to I don't mean to disrespect anyone, but that's a big difference I noticed between Stockholm and and uh, well I want to say Sheffield cuz I don't know if I notice it as much in London, but we don't I haven't really been to the smaller roads in London. Um no, I'm going into private property here. I need a backup. Um yeah, your roads like mainly mainly the ways cars are parked. Like I'll I'll see if I can find another location here uh down to the main road down here. <laughs> I wish I would have. <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. I wanted to do a commentary about this while there, so I could take some pictures while I'm walking. Um, because this is kind of a really weird way of showing. But yeah, the way you guys park your cars, like, and like you have no one-way roads. Like that, it seems really popular that even the thinner roads, like this, are two-way roads. Um, which means that often when you have these kind of roads. Like sometimes it gets too squished up, so a car has to like drive to the side and let them through, and then they go out. Like, it's it's very, it's a very like messy road system in my perspective. Um, so it's something that I can uh, I always notice that and how bumpy your roads are. I'm on a fairly clear road now it seems, but a lot of the time your roads like they've just like they've like found something like a like a like a bump because of bad road work, and then they they just add a patch to it like a black patch. Not this, this is weird. Uh, let me see if I can find a black patch. And that gets really bumpy. Like, I have trouble when it comes to... Aha! What do we have here? Stuff like this. And then to fix this, they'd add, like, a black patch. And then eventually, you have a bunch of black patches all over the road. For basically, like, these two here as well. And that gets really bumpy. And I have a I have problem with uh, road sickness. I get really easily um, uh, sick from driving. driving. And the way your, your roads swerve a lot, a lot of turns, and a lot of bumpiness in the roads... I always have to sit at the front, like when uh, Alex's dad is driving and her mom's with as well, and her mom will sit at the back for me because she knows that I feel sick. Like if we have a 20-minute ride, I just need to really focus on the road and 
hope that I don't get too sick. But yeah, they're very, very bumpy roads as well. That's something I wanted to just show or like talk about a bit because um, I think that's something interesting. Like I always notice it. Like this to me is really weird. The fact that you um, you just park it like yeah, we'll just drive up on the curb. Like let's uh, mm, let's 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 compare here. Let's compare. Let's go to Stockholm. Here we have Stockholm. Let's find a smaller street here. How do I? Go into road view. All right, we'll just we'll just show up here. Here we are. This is kind of a big street. Let me find a smaller street. I was looking earlier in Sheffield, by the way, and I was going through roads uh, just because I was looking to see if it would work. And uh, I drove past a car, <laughs> drove, um, and I and I looked into his uh, window, and he was giving the peace sign, which I thought was cool. Uh, I don't think he knows that he's on Google Maps. You know, I don't think he. Or maybe he looked it up actually. He knew what road he was on. Anyway, this is this is parking in in Stockholm. You know, it's bigger roads, and and I obviously get that Sheffield's a smaller smaller place, but it's something that I always notice. Um, cars have to be facing one way on one side and one way on the other side here, and oh, they spotted Google, the Google car. Um, whereas in in Sheffield, it seems like you could just you could be any way you want, but but this looks a lot like cleaner to me. So that's something that I'm very used to, and I always notice it when I'm Sheffield. Yeah. And our pot, like the road works, aren't, aren't, you know, like bumpy. Also, you know, a lot of it is, you know, Sheffield's built on like seven hills. So um, and that's something I hear a lot. Uh, so it's a very, generally, it's a very like here and there, up and down kind of road when you drive. So that, that contributes to me feeling sick. Here we have a bit, actually. But it's something about the ones they do in England. It's a lot bumpier than these. Um, cool. This was my, this was my commentary. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. I uh, I wanted to give an update, talk about some things I've been talking, thinking about. I'm not really sure how long this video is going to be, but I'm just going to let it roll and be however long it is. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.